Episode 3 of Super Martha Brothers, and today we're going to be playing Kung Fu for the NES. Here we go, we're going to start off here on the first floor. Uh, all the floors look remarkably similar. We'll soon find out. Your character looks remarkably similar to Ralph Macchio. <laughs> That's true. I think he just did a crane kick, too. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much just a side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up. Guys come at you and throw knives at you or come up to hug you. And you punch and kick them away. Yeah. It's pretty simple. And all your basic moves are just stand-up punch, stand-up kick, uh, jump kick, as you saw there. Um, also, duck and punch, and you can do a sweep. Yeah, so it's, very, it's kind of like a, a kick to the toe, as you can see right here. Here's our first boss. <laughs> yeah, this is the boss, the first level. And he went down like a chump. And on to level two. Two of five, I should say. Two of five levels. Yeah, this is not a very long game. Um, as you can see by the length of the video, yeah, we can get through this whole game in under seven minutes. So, well, you can also play through again the game. That's uh, true. After you beat the game, it kind of rolls over onto the next playthrough. So. Avoid these snakes and falling dragons and bombs. Cause that's a bomb right there. There you go. Duck from the dragons. Just keep walking. It's the best thing to do with this game. Is just kind of keep forging ahead. Don't let things overwhelm you. And you see, there's a new enemy there. I don't know if it's a child or if it's a midget. But it's kind of weird because if you look at your lives at the top, you can see a little graphic. It says two. And that's supposed to indicate how many lives you have, but that head looks more like the uh, midget head than the Ralph Macho head. We're going to say it's uh, a child, because uh, if you beat up a midget, that's a hate crime. That's but true. If you, but if you beat up a child, that's that's acceptable. I think that's... I don't know if midget's a politically correct, politically correct term or not. I don't know. Little people, maybe? I think so. Save Sylvia from Mr. X. And you don't find out to the third level what your purpose is. She's not that attractive, though. You should be able to turn back if you feel <laughs> it's not worth it. And like, you know what? I can do better anyway. She give you the option. And uh, I think in this level, though, midgets got a new move. Well, yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, whether they do it or not, uh, it's kind of random, but they do have the ability now to flip on top of your head. Right. We'll see it later in the video, if not here. I'm trying to run away. <laughs> see how far we can get away from them before they catch up. Run away, run away, run away. And they chase you, but you know what? What they do when they catch you, all they do is just kind of hug you. Yeah. He pops out the third boss. You need to sweep him. Yeah, he goes down easy. It's how you beat up the real Bob Sap, too. You yeah. just kind of kick him in the toes. And they call me the janitor, because I just do the classic sweep. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a good one. I pride myself on that one. <laughs> on to the second to last level. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel so accomplished. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, this game is nothing. Here are those moths that hit you in the face and explode. It's kamikaze moth, they just fly into you. I mean, they're probably bees, but we've been calling them moths forever, so... So they're moths. They're moths. I don't care what you guys say. <laughs> I also like the sound of like, the impact of the punches. Ah, uh, and this guy is tricky. Oh, I should... When you face this guy, you have to punch him in the chest. If you punch him in the head, his head just kind of falls off, and you'll fight him forever. It's all chest punches with him. He's the magician. And you can see he's throwing different projectiles and stuff. So. He throws dragons, snakes, and moths. <laughs> moths. <laughs> Stress that plural. Stress the moth. It's a moth. Right. It's not a carpenter bee. Just a reminder. That's what you're going for. This is your goal. This is the lady with lack of face <laughs> sitting there. He's got a big nose. This is 
the last level, as you can see, it's uh, much like the first level and the previous four levels. Here comes the jump. Oh, nice one, midget. Again. Oh, but that one didn't last. Those little ginger children <laughs> and their flips. Yeah, that's what we can pretend. We can pretend they're uh, ginger children because nobody likes that. Double jump over the knives there. Look at that fancy footwork. There we go. How come it doesn't stab and <laughs> Yeah, the knife doesn't hurt anybody else except you. It's a knife tailor made for you and your flesh only. High power technology. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, run away, run away. Here's the boss. Quick to back out, and this there is, we go. This is the evil Mr. X, the mastermind behind this entire plan of his to keep your girlfriend tied up in a pagoda. Ooh, jump kick, what? Nice. Ooh, got you there. Now we're gonna resort to the sweep here. Because eventually he'll run into it, you see? So keep him at bay. <laughs> there you go. Fight the last uh, little parade field trip of the children. <laughs> the field trip gingers. Now we're gonna celebrate by taking out the parents of this children. <laughs> celebrate by taking out some henchmen. There's your goal there. There's a nice loving embrace from the pig faced lady. <laughs> Congratulations, Thomas and Sylvia. Congratulations on what the but their happiness does not continue long. But why? I'll show you why. We'll see in a sec. Because the game... <laughs> the game starts all over. All over again. Sylvia's, a, Sylvia's an idiot. Sylvia gets captured again. Alright, guys, so... That's the end of uh, this episode, and we'll uh, do another one soon. Alright, see you guys.